Hello, in this video, I'll be showing you how to use the secure send functionality in Mimecast and how to send an email securely and what the recipient would expect to see on their side as well. So when you're in your Outlook, the first thing to check is make sure you do have the Mimecast add-in installed across the top, as well as it being signed in. Once we're here, we can either press new email or when you are normally on the home tab anyway, you can press new email as well. They do the exact same thing. So once we're here, you can type your standard email anyway, and across the top, you will see the Mimecast tab, which will look slightly different to the one on your normal home screen as well. So once we're here, we do have the option for send securely. So here we have the option of a standard email, we then have the option for all recipients. And if you hover over the option as well, it tells you what is applied to this policy. And then we also have the option for external recipients as well. So the main one that we'll use here is the all recipients one, which means that external recipients can reply, can reply all and print, and there aren't any read receipts as well. These can be configured per organization. So this will be part of the initial Mimecast setup. So the options you can see there are the options that have been created for your company and you can hover over them to see what they do as well. So if we select one as all recipients and then if we send that to an email account. So here you can see is an email that I've composed where I am sending confidential information where I would want that to be sent securely to my recipient, which is gareththanks at pokemail.net. That is just a test email account that I've created for this video. So once I go to secure send and tick the box I want, you do then get the banner across the top here that does say this email will be sent using Mimecast secure messaging, just so that you know that when you press send, that option is still there and enabled for you. So if I send that over now, and then I'll give that a second, and then I can show you what this will look like for the recipient as well. So once your email has been received by the recipient, they will receive a notification rather than the actual email. So this notification email will tell them to go to a Mimecast link, which is provided in the email, in which they can then set up a password for their email account. So once they have logged into that, they will get a screen similar to this one, but instead of the email from me, it will show the email that you have sent them instead. So this is secure sending that the email is always held by Mimecast themselves, rather than sending it to your client's email, where they might have a compromised phone or compromised computer as well. So this means it will never reach their actual device and it is always stored and protected by Mimecast. And so once they're here, they can look at the email, they can see everything I've put earlier, hello, please see his confidential email. And then once they're here, they have the option to reply, reply all, delete the message. They can mark it as read or unread. They can print it off. All of these settings of which are defined by the policy that we saw earlier. Some policies may not allow people to print it. They may not allow people to reply to it. However, this one does allow the recipients to do all of them. And then once they are done here, they can close it down, they can sign out and then they can always log back in and see this email again, just as they would for their normal inbox as well. Some email policies do have the expiration option enabled as well. So you might have the email expire after 30 days. So the user will be able to log into this portal and see that email for up to 30 days afterwards, in which then it will be deleted by Mimecast. So you know that email is definitely gone as it is controlled by the system that we are using rather than what the system the client is using instead. Thanks for watching. If you do have any issues or any questions, please contact us at www.prodriveit.co.uk. Thanks. Bye.